my hair changed every day. Hey guys, Xiaomin today. I am very excited to fight Skyfall in War Guild Battle. Why? They are currently ranked 3. We are ranked 10. How are we ranked 10? But they are currently ranked 3 in the War Guild Battle chart and they are fighting militias in the final of the siege tournament happening right now as well so safe to say they are one of the strongest guild in the entire world but not gonna lie aftermath eu the gap between that and skyfall is insane as well and we are fighting a lot of ld5 in these towers and they are extremely strong but the first up we have a sylvia zen tessarian so the main damage come from tessarian the defense break will be random so to be safe we're gonna have her dam here to make sure that he can absorb some of the damage we have double fire this guy have minus fire and this guy also have minus fire so we're gonna be very tanky against fire damage dealer they have no healing so as long as i can pull off one of this skill three i think we should have this one in the bag first round we got the strip we got a defense break nothing on her dam which is fine because her dam can help us take a lot of hit here first hit second Am I going to die to the dots? Am I going to die to the dots? Am I might... There's no way I'm dying to the dots, right? <laughs> dude, I'm so sad, dude. Why? What? Dude! Why did I die to the dots, bro? Come on. That that can't be real. That can't be real. Come on. All right, can I stun? Oh, oh, no. oh, come on, dude. I died to the dots, man. <laughs> Round two, very scary. Speed leader, high base speed, strip, and attack by buffer. So we're going to outspeed very easily with Kabila. We have Gemini here and we have Isabel here. This team is fully free to play. I think all of them will be available via Hollow Heroes. Maybe except for this unit because my noob account actually don't have a Kabila, which is kind of sad. But you can replace it with Escher or Bernard and you can try to outspeed this Ezio. All right, revenge time, baby. I'm going to absolutely clap this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. If I don't go for Maximilian, there's no way to get out, get out of this situation. Here we go, baby. Fuck it. Okay, okay. We're gonna dismount. Okay, okay. The dark unit will go for the light tank. Sort of tank. <laughs> Defense break. Alright, that's good. We're gonna strip, stun maybe something happening. We're gonna stun that. We're gonna buff. Oh my god. We almost lost this one as well. Almost, all right? Easily done. Round three, we have a lot of AoE damage, but not a lot of control or real damage. More like a lot of AoE attack. So we're gonna go for revenge. We're gonna go for revenge. And we're gonna go for healing and cleansing in the wind pill vanilla cookie. Next up, we have the fun revenge team. Oh shit, I just remember that. He can he can crit my kinky, no problem, right? That is, that is a problem. All right, we're gonna heal up first. We're gonna cleanse, very good. So how do I win this? I'm gonna just... I can't hit the cracker, so I'm gonna go for the uh, fatty. Oh. We're gonna Despair Stun. My Kinky is built just to Despair Stun and Revenge. So not gonna be a lot of damage coming from Kinky, but the monkey is built with much better damage. <laughs> look at that. Look at the look at the Revenge Stun. We love it, right? We love it. Oh shit, he's also stunning me, which is kind of annoying. But the lower the the thing hp is the less tanky he become and very easy to kill but the problem is the revive coming out of cracker so big boy is coming back up but he's not really high hp so killing him is not that hard but damn this chandra is landing stun every time i wish to <laughs> Dude, the revenge is so good <laughs> i wish to stun with chandra and rta like all the time and he never stunned when i need it Yo, Wind Monkey is kind of crazy, man. Wind Monkey is doing a lot of work. And the uh, support of the Wind Pill Vanilla is amazing as well with the cleansing and the healing. Looking good, looking good. Feels okay. Round four, we have a speed lead, very scary, fast team here. So we're going to go in with the Leo and we're going to have Federica and Talasha to try to one-shot two unit right off the bat. All right. Oh, no wheel rune. Perfect. We're going to push back. Strip. Wait, where's the strip? It doesn't really matter. We're going to do this for the Leo. And let's say goodbye to... 
I'm not sure who to hit. I'm gonna hit the defense type unit. I think that's gonna be an easy kill. This one have minus, I mean not minus, bonus damage on win. So this one's gonna be an easy kill as well. And that's pretty much it. Very, very strong combo. As long as you have the rune and the damage. Because if you fail to one shot, then you are the problem. All right, easily done. Round five, we have a reviver. So we have to bring in Jara. I'm not too sure. Every time I do PvP nowadays, I just run Jara because she is so goddamn fun to play with. I'm not sure if you're... <laughs> are you all done with Jara? Is Jara still fun to watch? I don't know. I love Jara so much. So I'm going to keep using it, okay? And this one, we're going to buff. We're going to go straight for... I think I'm going to go straight for the... On, on this thing. Oh, shit. It's... It's so swishy. <laughs> Why? Why did it die so quickly? Oh, this thing died too. Can I stun? Oh, I stunned this thing. Oh my god, no resistance. But hey, top gear, maybe they believe in raw HP instead of resistance. And that is not my problem. Boom. Oh, he, he's alive. Oh, he's dead. Man, I can't believe we lost the first round. It was so easy. It was always a win. Oh my god. All right. Round two, we have this Omega LD defense as well. And I saw that. The Ethna defense actually got two win, and one of them was against Goat as well. So Ethna on defense, something that I've never seen before. And here's the game plan for the first round against Zen. Screw her damn, we're gonna go in with a Hay Gang. So when he strip and all the debuff, my Velager will get an attack bar and boost, and we're gonna be just fine. Here we go, baby. Do the thing. Free ATB. Free Raw. Oh my god, no will runes. You are very confident and very mistaken. We're gonna boost. Oh my god. I should have done Hey Gang last time. Hey Gang is just too good. Okay, guys. Hey Gang is absolutely one of the best PvP monster in the game at the moment. Incredible in RTA and amazing in siege offense as well. Not sure if he has any siege defense capability, but maybe that is for the top gear to explore. But this guy is definitely very very annoying and very amazing round two we have a lot of i don't know what the hell is that plan over there a lot of damage i don't know what is that whole concept right there there's no really kill threat but anyway we're gonna go in with the same revenge team but this time no kinky isilin's gonna be here to have some more fun with the dot damage and pure vanilla cookie is gonna be the support once again round two here we go the whoa triple Triple! That is crazy! Oh shit, I just realized that. Everyone's hitting this guy. Oh. Oh, my team building was bad. Because of the elemental rule, everybody's hitting Isolin. Nobody is hitting anyone else. Oh, I should have brought in like a fire tank for the more. I, I, made, a, I made a bad team choice, guys. Really, really bad. So I'm not sure if monkey is going to be enough because my monkey doesn't have destroy rune. He has revenge. Which is like RTA bill, but not really guild content bill. Oh my god, I made a bad team choice. My fault. <laughs> the monkey has to carry, man. The, the monkey really have to carry here. We're gonna shield up and heal. At least with shield, he can't really destroy my HP. So that's where this unit is better than Raccoonie because you can't destroy me. I can still heal back very, very well because you are not destroying anything. So we're going to keep going with the damage. And the more we hit, the better it becomes. And the light guy is actually hurting the wind Dokkabi lot a lot because the healing from the Dokkabi is not all the time and he's getting stunned all the time as well. Wow, did I just 2v3 this guy? Is this combo absolutely crazy? This combo is crazy. It's so good. It tanks so well. And... And I can't, I can't get destroyed, which is like really huge for guild content. Because the defense can also be ruined with destroy rune and they will slowly wear you down. And you're going to lose because you can't heal properly. But in this case, I don't even have destroy rune. And we are just winning here. And this guy can't absorb HP because we've got some shield going on as well. I mean, actually he doesn't absorb my HP at all. He, he has nobody to absorb form anymore. <laughs> get out of here, buddy. Round three, we have, whoa, Light Gero with the AUE defense break and attack by pushback. We have more attack by pushback here. So we got a dark tank with zero rune. You can use this unit level one, no awaken, no runes, no whatsoever. 
and it's gonna tank this guy forever. We have wind damage dealer and another wind damage dealer. And if this guy die, hey, it's gonna be even more damage. And because both of them are wind, Mi Yang will less likely to focus the wind unit. Oh, I'm sure as hell going in with this. Don't worry about it, come to us. I'm gonna show him what's up. Round three, here we go. Dude, I want a defense break on the Onyx so bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> he got slow debuff, that is perfect. All right, let's put some dots over there. I think everybody's gonna be hitting Onyx now because his HP is really low. Oh, look at that. Look at look look at that attack bar pushback from the armed one. And nobody's looking at the wind unit, which is amazing. So let's try to finish off the Miyang, the healer first. Easily done. And if they if he managed to kill my Windy in Ayunu, he will take that as well. <laughs> Branding. Amazing. Oh, this guy does AoE damage. Oh sh We almost lost. Shh. Nobody saw that. I won easily. <laughs> Round four, we have a Benedict. My biggest mistake is trying to tank this guy. You don't do that ever. So we're gonna outspeed with Kabila and this time, instead of using Isabel, I'm gonna show her sister some love as well. So Tanya is gonna be on the front line. Oh, I think he had too many Chandra. Look at that Chandra, it's not rune. But it doesn't matter, okay? Because we're gonna go in. We're gonna take care of that Benedict instantly. All right, get out of here. And then, oh, we wouldn't, we, we, we didn't hit the, the fish, but the outcome would not change whether we, whether we hit the fish or not. But the, the, the thing about Isabel is that she does so much damage. She's dark and she does more damage when she doesn't have the skill three. Makes her so much better than Tanya. Round five, we have a speed lead Ethna. Not sure, but it's gonna, probably gonna be on Vile Destroy. And we have a zero two here as well. So I'm gonna have Camilla to tank the Ethna forever. We have a strip dot destroy because this guy is a crazy healer. And we have Kakarno for some fun damage. Double fire so that the defense breaker would not have a good chance of defense breaking the fire unit. All right, here's the defense that won many people. Nothing really happened. Let's try to freeze. Who do I kill? I think we, we should kill the defense breaker because even though we're running double fire, there's still a chance that she can actually just defense break my fire unit. So I'm going to go straight for her, okay? We're going to go straight for her. We're going to go for some big damage right there. And I hope that the Zero 2 doesn't absolutely destroy my Kakarno. I, I feel like he's looking at my Kakarno. He's looking at Kakarno very respectfully, but he's looking at Kakarno. Okay, Max Res. Huh, Ethna AI is amazing, as you can see. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Can I... Stun you. Okay, that's not happening. Oh my god, Kakarno is... How does he know to look at Kakarno? Oh. Alright. Can Camilla do it? Wait, where did I have the attack buff from? Oh, I stole the buff. Okay, maybe maybe the... the... How does he know to look at... Nobody's looking at Camilla. Can you look at Camilla, please? Alright, we, we have to steal this. Which is not really good if we actually steal the, the thing. Oh my goodness. Are we dying? We're actually dying. We are... I think we're dead. All right. We're going to go straight for for Zero Two. Guys, I'm going to have won this so easily with the Belial Camilla team. Like, very easily. Okay? Just letting you guys know that. But I, I, I try to make some funny team. And <laughs> definitely not working out really well. Oh, I can't deplete the stack of the... Um, of the Gaunir because he gains stack every single turn without without anything. Oh no. Man, I gave him another win. I should just use my Ugh, every time I try to make funny video, I I slightly regret that I could have I could have used the team that wins all the time. Like all the time. It doesn't lose ever. But here we are losing to, to this not-so-good defense. <laughs> hey, it won, so it's good, right? Do I have a chance? I don't think I have a chance. My Camilla's not proccing like his his thing. Yeah, we, we, are, we are just slowly dying. One Valiant proc from Zero Two, and, and we will go down. So I will accept my defeat, okay? Gosh, we lose one here as well. Unfortunate. But hey, four win against the rank three gear, I think that's not too bad. Especially when we are farming content. Ooh. Especially when we got an LD scroll. 
that is kind of juicy for the ending of this video. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we got. Here we go, baby. LD scroll from beating the strongest guild in... Not really the strongest guild. LD scroll from fighting a hard fought fight. I don't know what I'm saying. Here we go. And of course, we got the budget zero two. <laughs> Maybe this is gonna be the good ending. Maybe this is gonna be the good ending. Maybe this is gonna be the good ending, please. The good ending. The good ending. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. <sighs> the good ending is not real. <laughs>